What up, gang? It's your boy Zap back with another banger. I missed y'all, man. I've been super busy. Your boy built his own school, man. Breeding University is here. We've been having a ball. My students been lit. They've been loving the class. They've been loving the learning. And um, it's just been an amazing journey, man, over the past couple weeks, man. I sent my daughter off to college. You know, meanwhile, I'm still working a full time job and going to school, college full time myself for business administration. But, you know, it's all worth it, man. And it'll all pay off in the end. But I missed you guys, man. Catch us in the discord every Wednesday. We got live reading classes, man. But today I got a banger for you, man. And it's inspired by one of our classes right here. Uh, we, we did a germination class. Um which is the first module, the first week, the introductory course of Breeding University. Knowing germination, whether you believe it or not, is only half the battle. It's only half the information that you need to know. There's a whole other side that nobody practices and that today we're gonna dive into the opposite of germination so that you can understand how to properly germinate moving forward let's get straight into it, get it. like comment share subscribe yeah yeah you know it. so stuck man yeah 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 <laughs> to the gang man they know me in dc they know me in va you know i got shot out the dmv zaza genetics new jersey so in every seed you hold it's alive we know that right no doubt the seed is alive, but it's also not awake. It's also asleep. It's actually in a state of dormancy. And it's just waiting for the right signals to wake back up. Dormancy is the exact opposite of germination. It's that very moment when your seed comes to life. But look, see, this is the thing. Not all dormancy is the same. And if you don't understand which type of dormancy you're dealing with, how would you ever be able to wake your seed back up, right? Your seeds may never, ever sprout. We get people all the time, right, run into germination issues, and they leave this big question mark on top of their head because there's so many things that it could be. They feel like, man, I did this right, I did this right, I did this right. It leaves this big question mark because nothing pops. And in class the other day, the theme of the class was knocking chunks off of that question mark as we learned more about dormancy and the different types of dormancy. Today, we're going to break down the main types of dormancy and the proven methods. That's what's super important. The mechanics and the methods to get seeds out of dormancy and into healthy germination. So dormancy is nature's survival mechanism. A dormant seed is alive and well, it's fine, but it's pause, you could say, like it's, it's, it's on pause mode, right? It's just waiting for the right environmental signals. It's all about the environment. Germination is simply the process of breaking that pause. It's the opposite of dormancy. Think of it like a locked door, right? Dormancy is a lock and germination is what happens once you found the key to open the lock, right? But if you only understand one side, you're only on one side of the door and you don't even know that there's a key, you don't even know that there's another side to the door. But when we have the understanding of the opposite side, and the fact that it's a key called dormancy. First one is physical dormancy. Physical dormancy is just that. Happens when the seed coat is either too hard, really large. We run into it all the time. It doesn't allow water to or, or oxygen to, to penetrate, especially with larger seeds. Then that brings us to physiological or chemical dormancy that's when the seed has some sort of chemical inhibitors usually inside the seed coat that prevents it from sprouting morphological dormancy is 
dealing with the embryo inside the seed that isn't actually fully developed. Combinational dormancy is a combination of any of the three, right? Either physical, chemical, or morphological. In many cases, nine times out of 10, 99% of the time, when we run into germination issues, happens to do with dormancy. And more times than none, the grower slash breeder, um, farmer, has no idea what the issue is. In this case, we're gonna go over several methods and techniques that we can use to um, unlock the seeds, per se. Um, and we'll go over some common methods, which we talked about lightly in a previous video. We hear about it. You see people ask questions about it. Man, I see people using sandpaper. You think that's a good way to germinate? It depends, right? It depends on what type of dormancy your seeds are dealing with. You want to use the process of elimination, but you need to understand these things in order to even get there. Scarification basically means physically weakening the seed coat usually by sandpaper or nicking it with a blade even, tumbling it with grit. Once water uh, can get in, the seed will then wake up. And mind you, all of these methods that we're gonna mention, uh, scarification, stratification, um, they're all methods that happen naturally in the environment, in nature. These So seeds will blow in the wind and rub up against rough you know areas and we, we talked about this in class so that brings us to stratification right uh some seeds need to experience seasons and in most cases a lot of dormant seeds are dormant due to seasonal changes and what they their biological clock is telling them um it's winter it's time to hibernate right i need to um protect myself in order to preserve my gen my gene pool for the following season first of all there's multiple there's, there's several methods of uh, stratification so you have cold stratification which is keeping the seeds moist in the refrigerator for a set period it mimics winter right you kind of um, mimic winter and it tells the seed spring is soon to come you got to think about it in the environment um, if a seed is frozen, this is another natural method. This will happen naturally in the environment. A seed is frozen in a block of ice or it's frozen under the ground, right? It's frozen in a hard, solid ground. Eventually, when spring comes, everything starts to melt. This moisture content increases everywhere. It's no longer in ice. Things start to slowly warm up the seed. These are all signals for your seed to wake up. In stratification, cold stratification specifically, we're keeping seeds in moist paper towel in a fridge for a particular set period, which mimics winter and tells the seed spring is coming. Uh, warm stratification, on the other hand, works the same exact way, but with warmth, right? Um, same, same thing, but with warmth. It brings us to soaking or leaching the seed. Simply soaking seeds in water can wash away inhibitors, those chemical dormancy situations. Uh, water soaking them tends to um, wash away any inhibitors and jumpstart germination. We wanna be careful about how long we are soaking these seeds. Seeds will also drown. It depends on the, the seed thickness. You don't just soak any um, seed for days and two days, 48 hours, all of this bro knowledge. You, you, you want to go based on the, the thickness of the shell and the size of the seed. So up to 24 hours for a really large, thick shelled seed and uh, up to two hours for a smaller, uh, thinner, softer shell. So keep that in mind, man. Stop drowning your seed. Each of those methods is literally like holding the key to the right lock, right? Once you understand the type of dormancy that you're dealing with, you'll know exactly which method you need to use too many times more than none 
we 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 have our growers into these situation with this huge question mark of why this whole pack is just um you need to know why you would put some don't just take someone's advice that tells you oh well i store my seeds in the fridge i store my seeds in the freezer these are all stratification methods that need to be properly done and when understanding dormancy properly you unlock the key to germination which is on the other side of that door so the beautiful thing this is why it's so fascinating the, the more you understand dormancy germination stops becoming guesswork you start to lose that huge question mark above your head you're no longer waiting and hoping and giving up oh i gotta buy new seeds no nah, you're working with the seeds biology now right every seed has its own timing its own trigger once you learn it you unlock its full potential if you find this breakdown helpful if you found this breakdown helpful make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe man we still on the grind for subscribers so make sure you subscribe if you appreciate the content that i put out and if you appreciate the fact that i built my own school man drop a comment man with your favorite germination technique it's what my students over in Breeding University are doing in a week one discussion right now. So join that discussion right here in the comment section and let me know your favorite germination trick. Let me know if I'm 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 gonna break I'm gonna break some little a little bit of news to you. I, I think a couple of my, my students know, but we got we got one project going on that's that's that I won't that I won't uh, 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 give any information on, but the second project that we're working on class project is placing seeds into dormancy, ser uh, several different types of dormancy, and then awaken them properly. So if you'd like to join that project, join us in Discord, man. I would love to have you be a part of that project. I think we're going to make it a public project. All of the first project, it's a, it's a uh, Breeding University student only project man i missed you guys man i really do love you guys um i just been busy man i sent my daughter off to college i sent my daughter off to college god is good um and we've been doing all that we celebrated my birthday um 45 years old now i had to think about it for a second 45 years old man so um i've been doing this for a long time man i've been doing this breeder thing until my 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 my, my up and coming breeders the, the the you know my content creators i see from the stash uh, they wanted me to react to your video, the expert. Uh, all I would say is this: I did, I did watch the video, and um, shout out to, shout out to them. But um, there was no expert knowledge in that video, and I would just say, um, be mindful about what you use in your title because it could be misleading. Uh, when when you yourself are still on a path to learn, I would suggest all three of y'all join Breeder University, man. And you know, I got twenty. Three, 24 years hands-on experience 23 24 maybe 25 at this point i just turned 45 so i got a nice amount of hands-on experience with this so um it wouldn't be a far fetch for you to join breeding university if you really want to learn this you should see how far my students have gotten already ask them go ask them ask them if if they feel like they've been learning not just breeding but so many things in general and i love each one of them um, can't wait to see you guys in class Wednesday, each Wednesday, live lecture, Breeder University. Um, feel free to pop up on us, Discord. We would love to have you, man. Dormancy is just the seed's way of saying not yet, man. Your job as a grower is to know how to turn that not right now into let's go. All right. Make sure you hit that like button, man. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, visit AC Infinity. Use code Team Zaza at checkout, and um, you'll get a discount. And I also earn a commission. So one hand washes the other. I appreciate y'all support. If you want to support the channel, make sure you visit ZazaGenetics.com. Buy you some merch, some T-shirts. We got some exclusive T-shirts up there. Um, enroll in Breeding University. Uh, and that's how you support because my passion, my love 
is teaching, man. So if you want to support this channel, enroll in Breeding University and become the next student, man. Other than that, much love, gang. And um, I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm out of here. Whoa, 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 before I go. Um, yeah, my daughter, thank God I was able to send her off to college. A good, a friend, a, 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 a good friend of mine, a brother I grew up with, I consider him a brother, my brother Mike um, and Toddy, uh, you know, uh, I grew up with both of them. So um, their daughter, who is like family, um, is also going to college. They had some hurdles when it came to her financial aid. Um, for some reason, the government is denying them, denying them at every turn. And um, to combat that, they created a GoFundMe. They've already raised a nice amount towards her going to college. That's the goal. So if you are able to support, I'm going to leave that GoFundMe link in the comment section, man. Help this beautiful young lady get to college, man. You know, as a, as a dad who was just able um, and so grateful to be able to send my daughter off, you know. Um, I'm humbled that he's in that situation in any way I can help. Um, you know, I told him, I promised him I'll put the word out. So much love if you can help any, any, anything helps, man. Um, other than that, I will catch y'all on the next one. Love y'all. I'm out of here. Keep blow. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You hear me? Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower in the long boy. Yeah, smoke the Should have been a hippie. Should have been a shower. Grab with no dread. Black cock. Oh, yeah. Another thing, don't forget to join the Discord.